Concerto Grosso in A minor, well known to music lovers throughout the world. But where do musicians who can perform works like these come from? In the United States, string instruction often starts in the public schools, like this orchestra class at Durango High School. But most of these students have already been studying for years, starting in elementary school. Some students, like these, will go on to study their instruments at the college level, and the very best move on to become adult musicians capable of performing the classical repertoire at the level we are accustomed to hearing. The Conservatory of Music in the Mountains provides an opportunity each summer for young musicians to develop their skills and talents at many levels. Violinist Nolan Reed has participated for several years in this program. Here he talks to Arkady Fulman, director of the Conservatory of Music in the Mountains. You attended the Conservatory of Music in the Mountains for how many years? Uh, last year was my third year. Third year only? Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I know you already for, uh, for ages. <laughs> now, and what do you think? Uh, it's definitely a great experience, especially the you know concert orchestra for the younger kids and the string improvement. Would you recommend for your friends to attend? Yeah, for those who are dedicated. Definitely. Very good, very good. Are you dedicated? Yes, very. Very much so. Yeah. What does being dedicated involve? <laughs> Lots of practice and caring about your instrument. Yeah. How much you know? do you practice each day? Uh, three to five hours. As and it's kind of hard on, you know, school days, but... I guess in a way dedicated also to have a goal in mind. And your goal is? Uh, music performance major, major through college. I'm the artistic director of the Conservatory of Music in the Mountains. Conservatory of Music in the Mountains for the last 15 years is a part of the Music in the Mountain Festival. Music in the Mountain Festival, together, with the conservatory brings to this area close to 35 musical events every night during the second half of July. Not just one concert a day, there often are two concerts a day. But in addition to the concerts, we bring students from all over the country and some come from overseas. We have an important participation of the students from Durango area and Four Corners area. At the conservatory, we have several programs. One of them is Kids with Strings Attached. This is a program for the beginners who just starting right here and for the first time are introduced to the string instrument. Then there's a program for some young students who need some improvement, which is called the string improvement class. Then there's intermediate level orchestra and chamber orchestra for advanced students. So all these opportunities are taught by masters, by teachers from the area, by professors from the most important music institutions in the country, like Manhattan School of Music, like uh, this year we have a visiting professor from the Curtis Institute in Philadelphia, which is the leading institution of music learning. The conservatory is offering opportunities to students of all levels. We are here to excite the audience, and bring the next generations of musicians and music lovers. During a recent visit to Durango, Mr. Foman worked with students in the orchestra class at Durango High School. First of all, what style is this concerto written? Baroque. What? Baroque. Well, correct. Quarter notes and eight notes are all articulated <coughs> quite strong. Sixteenths are always beautiful. Sixteenths are always smooth. So, now...
Now, smooth. Okay? Just remember this. Don't be afraid. Move your voice. Move your arm. Pa, pa. This is very majestic sound. It should be. Big sound. Please. Three, four. Very good. Now, you need to alert. Be alert. Okay? It's like flying the plane without navigation. Three, four. In the middle part of the ball. Okay? Elegant. Elegant. Okay? With a tie. And maybe even with a bow tie. Okay, please. Okay, please. Four and as it comes. Stop. And then the second bar, two up bows. Move, 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 please, declare. It's your solo. And, and, two, and, move. Now, this. Great. Okay, okay. Okay, like, continue. Almost, not. same day, he visited Nathan Lambert, visiting instructor of Upper Strings and Conducting at Fort Lewis College, and artistic director and conductor of the Durango Youth Symphony. You're new here. What, what can you tell about the area? Well, I think for a community the size of, of Durango, has a lot has a lot of support for the arts. I agree, I agree with you. The, there are strings in the public schools. They actually start strings second grade, second, third grade. Mm -hmm. Here at Fort Lewis, we try to foster a good relationship with the uh, orchestra teachers here 
and uh, the band teachers here in, in, in Durango and in the surrounding area. I'm also somewhat a newcomer. I'm a guest here for the last 15 years, I would say. And sure. I also developed a relationship with the high schools in Farmington, of course, here. Today I visited Bayfield School for the first time. And it was very heartening to see these little kids who are trying to be young musicians, which is... And one of the teachers there actually attended the conservatory before. And uh, this continuity, uh, you know, is something that it's very nice to, um, to witness that here he was a student at the conservatory, then he went and graduated Fort Lewis College, and now he is um, teaching the next generation of young musicians, and this is just great. You probably know that we bring here more than 100 students from all over the country, from um, uh, many of them come from overseas. Oh yes, no, I, I, this is one reason why I do, do encourage my students to participate in Music in the Mountains, um, mainly so that they see what, what um, the caliber of, of musicians uh, from outside of here as well, um, to see what it takes to really make it in the world of music, um, not just here, but uh, in other places. All my students you know, thank you for nice uh, words about the program, yes. and we, I look forward possibly to work with you in the future here with, uh, with your students and, uh, and seeing your contribution to bring up the next generation of young musicians. Thank you.